Welcome back, everyone. This is still Natalie's at Dawn. We are still doing more casting, or, well, still doing stuff. Now it's casting time. I'm going to be doing matchmaking casting, though. Because we're actually going to be, we actually have stuff we can watch. If it would let me actually get into the game. I wanted to get into this game. I clicked. Let me watch. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, game being watched because I can, there are enough people playing right now because of Steam release that I can actually cast games just that happen to be doing matchmaking and not wait for the replay. Now, granted, there's going to be the whole catch-up period at the start of the game, which is a bit of a pain, but that's fine. It's a small thing, but then we get into the game proper and it's all good. The only problem is I can't easily get the title stuff laid out, but yeah. Are we are we going? Why are we reloading? What's up, game? Why the reload? Did the version change? Well, oh right, I guess that's fair. Ah, living lands. All right, that's what we're doing here, and let's see. So, right at the back, the third is getting. Push back a little bit, not expanding as much as I would expect, but they are, on the other hand, RAR expanding a great deal, as you do. That is a very good start for this match. And where's my... There it is. S. Anyway, so this one, Cathartia, is actually getting a really nice start off with the Ronin. I like that. Good way of getting around the the Kodachis, or at least forcing them back a little bit. And at this point, Cathartia is only about 5 metal per second behind. I do appreciate the fact that they are going for a reasonably anti-Raider force. The only downside is we likely will see Roar switch over pretty quick to something that's a, that's able to handle that. Like either, well, I mean, I guess more Kodachis would help. Or some Blitzes, or just, actually no, Blitzes or Kodachis would work well. Against against Epitank Factory, because Artis is making a good choice for unit composition. At, I mean, at least as far as the Ronin go. The Reavers, those are kind of tricky. Kodachis operate in a skirmisher type way because they're very hit and run. They don't need to be up close. If they get up close, clearly they die, but then there's also the fact that they are able to burn down the warriors. In the meantime, the warriors' auto-healing is useless here. So I'd almost want to see... Not glaives so much. Actually, one thing I was pointing out earlier, or finding it earlier, is that imps are great for this. Though another decent option might be knights. Actually, knights would be a good option. At least against Kodachis. They're very, that's very specific, though. Against blitzes that have a bit of a harder time, they'd still be fine. And actually, if they started getting kills, then it'd be even better. But not so much. Now, on the other hand, Katardi's over in the northwest side of the map, trying to get rid of some of the economy here, not going to be able to do much damage. Does manage to get a metal extractor, but will not manage to get the worker. And at the same time, their frontal pressure, they're holding it off reasonably well, but RAR not focusing so much on that. They're actually fo focusing much more on their expansion, currently about 7-ish metal per second ahead, and ensuring that a bunch of the stuff in the back lines does not get taken. Both ensuring Cathartis cannot take it, using the Kodachi in the back line, and also just defending up quite well. But Cathartis, on the other hand, is actually still expanding over to the southeast, and RAR is not stopping that. In fact, as far as I'm aware, RAR is not aware that that's a thing. No, they are not aware at all. They have no idea. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. Cathartis has a bit of an advantage going forward, information-wise. Kodachi, however, is going along the bottom side of the map. That will catch it out. I mean, this will not be spotted by Cathartes in time. However, Rar's commander, taking a fair bit of damage, does have the high ground, so these were these Reavers will not be able to get out there and kill it. If they if it didn't have the high ground, the Reavers would be fine. They'd have the kill. And actually, if they bait it down to the low ground, the Reavers do have a chance, but I don't know if Cathartes is going to manage to do that. Looks like Cathartes instead is trying to force Rar back in order to get some positioning, but at that point, the Lotuses will be the problem, and the combination of everything will mean all these Reavers will be completely useless. And this is where I would say slings would actually be of some use. I realize slings are a bit tricky to use, but yeah, I would I would start building up some of those because that's your artillery. But I really like the way Rara set this up. They have the defenses right in the back line. So we already saw that you come up the hill, you don't really know, and then as soon as you're up the hill, the entire hill is defended, but they're on the other side, so you can't easily get up there to finish them. That is really clever. At the same time, though, Cathartes is managing to maintain a slight economic lead, even with the harassment happening. The only downside is they don't have any caretakers. They have 25 metal per second being pushed into the factory between the worker and the factory itself. But a few caretakers would be a really good idea right now. 
Because that would allow them to use all this metal. That and a few more power plants as well. But yeah, the combination of the two would be really the best option. However, at this point, Cathari is still taking a fair bit of pressure from the Kodachis, as they have in this entire game. But now Rarsh Commander is on the low ground. They sh Do they have auto servos? No, they don't. They don't have any speed at all. Unfortunately, the, war the Reavers were a little distracted with the Kodachis. They can't easily go over to Rarsh Commander. But Rarsh Commander is still taking a lot of damage, and the force here is pretty much the right force to deal with it. I feel like Cathari's built up this army knowing Rar goes to their commanders like this. Oh, yeah, the... Factory assist. I mean, okay, to be fair, Cathari's is factory assisting, but yeah, putting. I wouldn't see it as a bad idea to have the tutorial. I think I put it in one of my videos. But yeah, something more in game. Something as part of the campaign. That would be kind of nice. So, with that, though, Cathari's. Ah, their economy is heavily damaged. They have a decent army, but they're not going for the commander. I don't say I blame them. They're going around the back lines instead, trying to harass with a bunch of Reavers. It's a bold move. Well, given that, I'm not sure how well it'll work, though, just because that leaves a lot of opening for the Kodachi to be able to get around. Like, they can get up to the front lines. There's not, gonna, not much going to stop them. And this entire northwest side is also completely taken by Rar. So as much as Cathartes is going to be able to do some damage and stop a fair bit of the expansion going over to the southeast, and I like that, I don't know how well they're going to be able to actually stop the overall frontal assault. They have or managed to pull back some of Rar's forces to defend, so the Kodachis are at least not going to be in position to fight. And that means that the Reavers can defend nicely. So, Cathartes, good job there. That's good thinking. It was a bold move, but it paid off. Of course, that requires that they still continue to advance, because at this point, the main base is fairly vulnerable. There is an Ogre coming in. That'll help its... It's good, especially against slower units like Reavers. It won't be the be-all end-all, though. It's not like against Glaives. However, will the Kodachi support that will likely be enough. I mean, the Reavers doing what they can, but now they have to go uphill and... Bit of a pain. I do like... Oh, Cathartes, nice. Pulling them uphill in a safer way. Because, yeah, that, that hill is right... Oops, it's right there. So it's still a bit of a problem for them having to go up that hill, but it's less of a problem now that they went through it the safest possible way. But, yeah, see, there's the problem. The Ogre coming in here, that's going to be able to deal loads of damage. The Reavers tried, but they just don't have a whole lot of damage. Knights are a better option, and that's exactly what's being gone for by Cathartes. Good thinking. So yeah, the one thing Cathartes doesn't have right now is a really strong raider force. The one thing they can't really make use of right now is a really strong raider force. Like, really, at this point, Reavers have to be their raiders for how much Rar has been setting up defenses around the map. I mean, this entire western side of the map is taken over, and Rar is now expanding o or harassing over the eastern side, and for good reason, that's exactly where Catharsis is expanding. But now Cathartes trying to go around to the northwest where all the lotuses are. I'm not sure they're quite aware that there's as many lotuses as there are, because there, there are. They're aware of some of them. And they at least have some conscience to be able to get some vision in there to know what's going on to some extent, but this is still a pain in the butt. I mean, the Lotus is coming in, getting stunned by the... or getting EMP'd, rather, by the Knights. So that's exactly what they want to do. And Rar's Commander, few good shots of EMP will... Actually, several good shots of EMP, because that Commander's got 4600 HP, and EMP works by hitting damage relative to their current HP. Like, the more damage the unit is, easier is to EMP, but it's entirely based on health. So a high health commander is going to be very hard to actually EMP down. See, so yeah, a rush commander is not really in a very vulnerable position. And it's also a strike commander, so they can get that second weapon, which I think they're going to do in the next upgrade. See, so yeah, Cathartes, nice try. I'm not sure there's really any way back from this. They do have the Contra in the back lines. They can start reclaiming, actually. Except the reclaim here, that would be amazing. How much is there, anyway? Nah, irrelevant. Unfortunately, as Rar does take the fight, but I gotta be honest, it was not that lopsided. People were saying in chat, ah, Zara versus Noob, it's, no big, it's not gonna be a fight, but no. No, Cathartes put up a fight. They had a decent shot. There were a few times where I thought, you know what, if they went for that commander and actually nailed them, they'd have this. It was really close. So yeah, very well done. I mean, of course, it ultimately didn't work, but still, that was... That was actually a, a well-fought fight. The unit compositions that Cathartes came up with were pretty much exactly right, or at least close to, considering what Rar had. The problem with Cathartes, they didn't have the economy. Their micro was pretty were pretty good. Their compositions were on point. Their economy simply wasn't enough to support that, so they ended up not able to actually finish that fight in their favor. Bit of a shame, but like I said, very good shot nonetheless. 
So that is that. I guess we'll move on to whatever I find next. So stay tuned for me finding another game. It's kind of hard to do my normal format where I go into a break and then come back with the intro when the games are being started in the matchmaker. But we'll see what happens. Let's try that. So I'll be back in a sec. And then more matches. Not replays, though. This is live. 